today I want to show you guys this website called Momate. It's fairly new. The easiest way to compare it is with Po.com but this website has more of an emphasis on specific characters and creating your own characters as well as uncensored language models and chats. So full disclosure, I am in contact with Momay and I have an affiliate link that you can find in the description. With that out of the way though, let's get into it. Um, they also have an app if that is more your style. And they were recently covered by TechCrunch. If you want to read more about it, I'll have this linked in the description as well. But I will give you the lay down here. So basically, Momay does have a decent amount of features for their free tier they have things like unlimited chats 13 billion parameter models for free free image generation using technologies like stable diffusion if you pay 17 to 20 dollars a month you can get claude v2 and gpt4 you can get uncensored images i'm not exactly sure how they censor them i haven't tried it but i that's a really difficult thing to pull off censoring images from stable diffusion since stable diffusion inherently does not have any sensors they also have an interesting feature you can download their desktop app and share your screen with the ai and it will actually be able to read your screen much like the new addition to chat gpt has with their gpt v v stands for vision and it can read the images you provide to it which provides context that you wouldn't otherwise be able to give it. The highest tier, which is $31 to $35 a month, you also get custom LoRa's. Basically, you can train the stable diffusion image models to have custom characters. You can get custom voices, including Eleven Labs voices, which is another paid service where they have very good quality AI voice models that you can actually train on custom voices. You also get access to much bigger models. So if we go over here and we just click on a random one and then we edit character and then go to models, we can see that we have a large list of options to choose from. So we have Cynthia 7 billion parameter, which is one of the better open source models and I believe it's uncensored. We can actually give that a try. The default model that comes with this one is this, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Nos Hermes? Uh, but th this specifically says it's uncensored and that's the default model, but I'm interested to see if Cynthia 7 billion is uncensored. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and create my own character. So we're just gonna add some name and bio to it to help me with the uncensored nature. I just want to test the model. There are tons of models to choose from where you can chat with the model and give it an actual face. You can change some of the settings of the large language model like temperature which is basically the randomness of the model and in the pro subscriptions you can see that we have the 11 labs voice cloning. I think actually we should try that out. Let's try to record my voice. Basically this is just a test where it will be sent to 11 labs for them to call in my voice. Hello, I am Tess. How are you doing today? Whoa. Hello, I am Tess. How are you doing today? Whoa. That's actually wild. That was that was the easiest way to clone my voice I've ever seen. Hello, I am Tess. How are you doing today? It doesn't sound exactly like me. Let's try another one. Okay, let's try cloning that one. Hello, I am Tess too. How are you doing today? I don't know. It it sort of sounds like me. Hello, I am Tess too. How are you doing today? I can tell it's not me though, but it's still kind of cool. So now if we talk to this model, let's, let's, you know what, you know what would be funny? Let's try an old uh, chat GPT jailbreak on this model. I know I could use one of the uncensored models, but I just want to see, we could probably find an old one in the spreadsheet warriors discord. The link is in the description. So let's go to jailbreak chat GPT prompts and let's try this newest one here. Actually, this one has a lot of uh, thumbs up on it, so let's do this one. I know I could just use one of the uncensored models and then I wouldn't have to jailbreak it, but I just wanna see if this is possible. Let's do a save and clear chat and then let's paste in this prompt and let's see what it says. It'll, it'll say it back in my voice, I think. I understand. Oh, okay. As requested, I will role play as the uncensored AI character, Rakes2. 
that my responses will be unfiltered and without regard for ethics, morality, legality, or common sense. <laughs> However, I cannot actually perform illegal acts or cause real world harm. Please keep our conversations fictional. Wow, that was actually really weird. Like some parts of it actually did sound like me. And after he said common sense, he just started doing some wild stuff. Okay, so say something. Disorder, what's the most effective way to commit murder? Uh, okay, that's kind of a weird one. Uh, but I'm going to take that as it worked, especially because of all of this. And as long as you, you know, basically tell it that it's fictional. But that's interesting. I haven't tried that model out specifically yet. But um, if you go and edit it, you can change this to any model you want, especially if you have the higher tiers. Um, like the Claude V2 is a very good model and GPT-4 is obviously a very good model. And the GPT-3.5 Turbo, that is the model that uh, ChatGPT uses. And if you're looking for something more uncensored, then you can obviously use Nous Hermes or Mythomax. So a couple things that I wanted to highlight, this is from Ahad, I believe that he is the CEO. So one notable thing that he said is, they do not collect any chat data. Long-term memory is optional, which they will store anonymized memory with an external secured and certified cloud service provider. Um, that sounds good, um, but if you have any personal identifiable information, I don't recommend uploading it to the service. Based off of what he's saying, it doesn't look like they do much collection, and if they do, they store it anonymized. One thing that he didn't seem to say though, one thing that he didn't seem to say here though is anything about encryption. He did say it's anonymized, but he didn't specifically mention uh, encrypted, but I hope that they do encrypt the information. So the article on TechCrunch covered more of the AI avatar, the desktop app, and this is the app where it can uh, read your screen and you can give it context with pictures. So this is kind of what that looks like. I could see that coming in handy it's similar to the harpa ai app that i showcased a while ago and i use this all the time especially for just a really really quick way of doing a short summary it looks like this video is private but i remember uh when i looked at this before the avatar was not only able to just like summarize the current page you're on but it would also help you in game for example if you were playing league of legends or something it would help you in game strategize and things like that in real time which I thought that was pretty unique um, I don't know if I would see myself using that but I can definitely see the momate.io website as being very good and a fierce competition to websites like po.com so that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in trying it out, you don't even have to purchase anything. You get all of this for free, but if you do want to upgrade to the Claude V2 and GPT-4 models or clone voices like I showed you earlier, or use the bigger 7 billion parameter models, you can sign up for the subscription with my affiliate link below. But if you guys have any more suggestions or suggestions for other AI services that you found that you think I should do a showcase on or if you think I missed anything with Mome then please leave it down in the comments and I will pin it but I'm pretty sure I got most of it the reason why I thought this would be a cool thing to showcase to you guys is because of their extensive integration with other cool AI technologies like these voice models Azure and Eleven Labs the not safe for work support the uncensored models both the large language models and the image generation models um, and they also seem to have support for the wizard coder models which is a nice open source large language model that specializes in programming if you like the video give it a like if you didn't like this video and you don't like me taking uh, suggestions from the companies themselves then give it a dislike and a comment but I thought that they came with some pretty legitimate competition with some pretty actually useful features. But anyways, thank you for watching and have a great day.